Hi, friends. Today we will learn what are coordinate adjectives and non-coordinate adjectives. So let's start. First of all, let's revise what are adjectives. The words that describe or give more information on nouns or pronouns are called adjectives. He is a brilliant student. Here, the word he is a pronoun. Student is a noun, and the word brilliant is describing the noun student, or giving more information about the noun student. Here we have another example. Look at the marvelous monument. In this sentence. Monument is the noun, and the word marvelous gives more information about the noun monument. So the word marvelous is an adjective. So adjectives are the describing words for nouns and pronouns. Adjectives may tell us about the number of quantity, opinion, size, age, shape. Color, origin, material, or purpose of the noun or pronoun. Let's see different adjectives that describe different characteristics of a noun or pronoun. Number or quantity. Abundant, empty, multiple, many, numerous, sparse, heavy, light. A few, a little, ten, five, six. All these adjectives tell us about the number or quantity of a noun and pronoun. Opinion: beautiful, nice, sweet, cute, mannered, ugly, unique. All these adjectives tell us about the personal opinion of someone. About a noun or a pronoun. Size: big, small, tiny, huge, bigger, biggest, giant, massive, petite. All these adjectives tells us about the size of something or someone. Age: old, young, new, antique. These adjectives. Tell us about the age of something or someone. Shape: flat, round, oval, triangular, hollow, curved, chubby. These adjectives tell us about the shape of something or someone. Color: reddish, pinkish, blue, green. These adjectives tell us about. The color of something or someone. Origin: British, Anglo-Indian, Canadian, European. These adjectives tell us about the origin of something. Material: silver, gold, copper, wooden, cotton. These adjectives tell us about the material something is made up of. There are also some adjectives that show the purpose of something or someone, like jogging shoes. Here, the word jogging is an adjective that tells us about the purpose of the shoes. Gardening gloves. Here, the word gardening is an adjective that shows the purpose of the gloves. Similarly. Shopping bag. Here, the word shopping is an adjective that shows the purpose of the bag. Here we have more examples: swimming suit, shopping bag, skating shoes, purchasing card, riding seat. So, here the adjectives swimming, shopping, skating, purchasing, riding. Are adjectives of purpose. So 
we learned that adjectives describes different qualities of a noun or a pronoun. A single noun or pronoun can be described by more than one adjective. And when you are giving more than one adjective before a noun or a pronoun, you need to arrange these adjectives in an order which is decided by the formula. No sascomp. Yes, no sascomp. N for number or quantity. O for opinion. S for size. A for age. Again, S, which is for shape. C, for color. O, for origin. M, for material. And P, for purpose. That is, if you are giving more than one adjective before a noun or pronoun, those adjectives will appear in this order. For example, I want to buy myself one big black leather purse. Here, the noun is purse, and there is a series of adjectives before the noun purse. One big black and leather, and these adjectives follow a sequence according to the formula no sascomp. The first adjective is one which is describing the quantity or number of the noun purse. Second one is big, which is describing the size of the noun purse. Third one is black, which is describing the color of the noun purse. Next is leather, which is describing the material of the noun purse. So, these adjectives, one, big, black leather are following a sequence, which is determined by the formula no sascomp. Number, opinion, size, shape, color, origin, material, purpose. You need to remember this order in order to write the adjectives correctly in the right order. Now comes the point when I can explain you. What are coordinate adjectives and non-coordinate adjectives? It is very important to learn the difference. Because you must be confused, you need to put commas between these adjectives or not. If the adjectives modifying the same noun are of the same category, that is, all are describing the same property of the noun like shape, age, or size, commas are required between them. But like our example, all adjectives describing the noun purse are from different categories. One is giving the quantity. Other one is giving the size. Other one is giving the color. And the last one is giving the material. So, no comma is required. These adjectives are non-coordinate. Now let's see examples of coordinate adjectives. I want to buy myself a red and black purse. Here, we have two adjectives before the noun purse, red, and black. Both are the same category, color. That is, both are describing the color of the noun, purse. So, you either put a comma between them or either and can be used. And you can write the same sentence in four formats. You can also write, I want to buy myself a black and red purse. And you can also replace and with a comma. These are the four ways you can write the coordinate adjectives, red and black, black and red, and also with commas. So, coordinate adjectives are adjectives of same category, modifying the same noun, and you need commas or and to separate these adjectives, and their order can also be reversed.
Here we have another example. She is such a cute and innocent child. Here, the two adjectives, cute and innocent, both describes the opinion of the speaker about the noun child. So, these are coordinate adjectives. You can also reverse their order. She is such an innocent and cute child. You can also replace and with commas. My mother always looks charming and gorgeous. Here, the two adjectives, charming and gorgeous, both describe the personal opinion. So we need comma or and between them. You can also reverse their order. My mother always looks gorgeous and charming. I am always afraid of slippery and treacherous roads. Again, both the adjectives, slippery and treacherous, describes the same quality of the noun roads. So, these are coordinate adjectives, and you can also reverse their order. Now, here we have another example. My house is behind the huge circular blue building. Here we have three adjectives. Huge, circular, blue, describing the noun building. All these are three types of adjectives. Describe different qualities of the noun building. Huge is describing the size. Circular is describing the shape. And blue is describing the color of the noun building. So, these are non-coordinate adjectives and you need no commas or any coordinating conjunction between them. But yes, you need to follow the right sequence according to the formula. No se scomp. So friends, today we have learned what are coordinate adjectives and what are non-coordinate adjectives, and also the sequence that the adjectives must follow before a noun or a pronoun. We will learn more about this adjective sequence and many more examples in our next section. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.